hello uh, my name is swan and today we're going to be talking about uh, goods and services tax implementation in india now let's get uh, right into it uh, let's understand the goods and services tax in india uh, the gst is a major reform in indian indian economy system now it is a unified direct uh, indirect tax levied on the supply of goods and services it was implemented in 2017 Uh, GST replaces a complex web of multiple indirect taxes previously charged by both central and state government. Why a unified tax system? Uh, in this pre-GST tax structure was a hurdle for economic growth. Uh, let's talk about why. Uh, number one, cascading effect. Goods were taxed multiple times at different stages of production and distribution, hence inflating the final prices. Uh, there are tax barriers. Uh, different tax rates across states create created trade barriers within the country. Now there was a compliance burden, uh, where businesses had to deal with a multiple multitude of tax authorities, increasing a complexity and cost. Let's talk about significance of GST. Now, uh, GST aims to address these issues by one uh, simplified system. where a single tax reduces compliance burden for businesses number 2 increase transparency where clearer tax structure improves tax collection and redu- uh, reduces evasion uh, and uh, boosting trade uh, most importantly uh, removal of internal barriers promote seamless movement of goods and services across the state now it has enhanced competitiveness by uh, reduce tax burden on producers Uh, potential lower final prices and improves uh, export competitiveness now gst is a significant reform in india indian economy aiming to create a more efficient transparent and unified tax system now however its implementation is an ongoing process with adjustment and refinement being made now the ob- the objective of the, the the implementation of gst was uh, uh, to have unified tax to uh, tax structure as i said uh, curbing cascading uh, simplifying the tax system in a sense gst aimed to transform indians uh, india's direct tax structure from a fragmented and complex system to a unified and streamlined one now what are the impact on businesses gst has the goods and services tax has had a significant impact on businesses in india particularly in terms of supply chain efficiency and ease of doing business here's how gst has transformed the landscape now uh, reduce logistical bottlenecks uh, by uh, let's talk about uh, prior to gst transporting goods across states involved a very complex web, web of tax taxes and paperwork at state borders now this created delays in increased transportation costs uh, gst eliminates these internal trade barriers allowing a seamless flow of goods across the country trucks no longer face long waiting times at borders leading to faster deliveries and reduce logistical costs for businesses uh now it's also uh, useful in improving inventory management under the old system businesses had to uh, maintain separate inventories for each state due to varying tax implications now gst simplifies this process by allowing businesses to manage a centralized inventory with a single tax rate now this reduces storage cost it improves overall inventory management efficiency the third point i will talk about is gst streamlined compliances gst replaces a multitude of taxes with one so requiring businesses to file just one return this significantly reduces compliance burdens and associated costs for businesses additionally the online filing system makes compliance easier and faster now uh, the overall impact by eliminating internal trade barrier uh, signif- uh, simplifying compliances improving inventory management gst has significantly improved supply chain efficiency for businesses now this translate to first faster deliveries lower logistical costs and more streamlined business environment uh in conclusion uh the introduction of gst in 2017 marked a, v- a, a huge turning point for india's economic landscape Uh, looking ahead the long term benefits of gst are expected to be even more substantial now a more transparent tax system is expected to encourage formalization of the informal sector broadening the ta- tax base and increasing government revenue now additionally a more uh, efficient and competitive business environment is likely to attract foreign investments and boost manufacturing activities in conclusion 
GST has positioned India on the path of significant economic reform by streamlining a tax system and promoting more efficient and transparent business environment. GST is expected to be a key driver of the economic system of India and the growth in the years to come. However, ongoing refinements of and support for businesses, especially smaller ones, are crucial to ensure the full potential of this major reform is realized. Thank you.